Hi. Hi, Nidia. Hi, Astrid. Hi, Julia. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. All right. So, uh, Astrid, Astrid, were you in class yesterday? No, right? I know Julia wasn't. No, yesterday I did. Right, okay. No, All right. So, yesterday with Nidia and the other students, we were talking about the independent writing question two, which is the last section of this course, okay? So, okay. today I sent the presentation, well, half of the presentation, because the other, the other part of it, we're going to study it today. I don't know if you were able to see it, uh, Julia and Astrid. I you... have it in the in the WhatsApp group. Yes. yes. Yeah. Did yes. you were you able to see it? No, what I didn't see it. Yet. Okay. For you, Julia. No. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna. I didn't see. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna share with you really quickly uh, because Nidia studied it yesterday, but this is what we did yesterday here. We were talking about the, the uh, independent question two, okay? And the, I share with them an essay because remember that this section is about writing essays and the type of questions that you guys are going to be asked to write about, okay? So this one, it's, uh, it's a question and they usually ask you about what what your opinion is if you agree or disagree if you support or not the idea that it's there all right so that's pretty much what it is you have 30 minutes to write an essay okay no more than that and it's about 300 words okay so i shared with your classmates this essay yesterday which is a, a very well written essay, okay, and we're gonna work it together because Nidia already did this, all right? So, here, this is what an essay should look like. If you notice, I'm just gonna make it a little bigger here so you can, you guys can see it. Uh, just give me a second. Here, if you notice, we have uh, the question is right here. It says, Some people believe that mothers should not work. Others argue against this. Consider the problems that are uh, that a, a working mother faces. Do you believe mothers should work? Okay, so as you notice, they're asking you a question. They're asking your opinion about this matter, okay? Now, okay. this whole essay, because it's only 300 words, okay? If you notice, it only has two body paragraphs, which in this uh, theory, they call it developmental paragraph one, and developmental paragraph two, but they are called body, body paragraphs anyway, okay? Because there are only two, it, it is because it's only supposed to be If you were asked to write a 500 word essay, probably you would have another paragraph, but it, what it is mandatory is an introductory paragraph and a conclusion paragraph. You always have to have one. I was also telling Nidia and your other classmates that on the introductory paragraph, you need to include the topic sentence and the thesis statement. On TOEFL 3, we're going to work on those uh, topic sentences and thesis statements a little deeper, okay? Right now, the idea is just to introduce how an essay looks like to you, so you have an idea. All right, now, how many paragraphs uh, you are supposed to have? It would depend on how many words you're being asked to write about, okay? Now, I was, uh, we, we shared this, they actually read it together, and then they, they also read this, which is the analysis of the example essay. Here, what I asked them to do is actually read it, to read what the analysis was about, okay? Because they uh, go over each paragraph and they tell you what they talk about, okay? So that's pretty much what we did yesterday. So today, on the, like today's class, what we want to do is the following. I was telling your classmates yesterday that on an essay, you girls need to uh, follow these steps and some others, but these ones are like really important ones. For example, it says organize your ideas on point three. Now, today we're gonna work on that, how to organize our ideas based on the question that we're going to be given, all right, and to be able to, like, organize your ideas in a way 
you won't get lost when you're writing, all right? Because it's very easy to like jump from one point to the next without making any, any sense at the end. We want to cover so many things that at the end we make a mess, okay? So organize, to organize our ideas is super, super important to have a nice, concise, and precise, and fluid essay, all right? So that's what we're going to be working on today. Hi, Maribel. Hi, Saida. Hi, Freddy. I didn't see you coming in. I said girls, and Freddy was already in. I'm sorry, Freddy. <laughs> all right, very good. Okay, so are we ready then, girls, to, and Freddy, to go over with and to go on with the rest of the class today? Okay, so this is what we have. This is the second part of the PPT that, of course, I'm going to send today. It's nothing like from, it's not a secret. I just didn't want you to see it yesterday or today earlier, but I wanted you to see it tonight with me. This is a mind map, okay? Some people call it from other different names, like a, a web a cluster or however you call it. But at the end of the day, it's a mind map because it's got ideas. Remember that when you're given a topic, your brain starts working right away, okay? So you need to organize all those ideas and put them in a way that they make sense. Now, a mind map, how we're going to be dealing with this here is, if you notice, we have this idea right on the middle, all right? Why? What do you think we need to write on that precise um, bubble? What do you think it goes there? Anybody? The yes, Aidita. The main idea for the supporting idea. Oh, all right. Yes. And details. Uh -huh. Okay. And details. All right. Very good. Oh, kind of. Yes. In a way, Saida. Very good. Any other idea from any anybody else? Thank you, Saida. That was very nice. I. Yes, I Maribel. Think, I, think, I think something related with the answer of the question. Ah, all right, Maribel. Oh, okay. For example, do you believe mothers should work? Ah, okay. Yes, very good. Perhaps that's exactly what Saida and Maribel wanted to say. On the sense here, right on the middle, the idea, where it says idea, your question should be there all right the question of the essay in this case maribel is right for example uh, should mothers work all right in a way that would be there on on the center of it because from there you're going to start like like um dividing your ideas all right so here right on the middle is the question of the essay or the topic of the essay all right should mothers work do you agree or disagree with it? Or however the, the question is structured. So from there on, then you have your other ideas. And if this is your main idea, or if this is your, the topic of your essay, the other uh, bubbles where they say ideas, all right, those are the other um, ideas that you're going to be working around your essay. For example, Freddy, do you remember one of the um, ideas that the essay that we read yesterday talked about on the, fir on the first uh, developmental paragraph? Do you remember what they talked about? Or anybody, not only Freddy, but uh, anybody, you guys remember what the, um, one of the topics, all right, that they talked about on paragraph one? Do you remember? In the, the, the developmental Paragraph. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So the different problem that the mother right. uh, uh, put things right. while she uh -huh. is working. Okay. While she is working. Yeah. Right. Okay. So one of the ideas that we can say here, it would be one of the supporting ideas. They are called supporting ideas because they support this main idea. One of the supporting ideas is problems mothers face when they go to work. The other one, uh, Nidia, do you remember what they talked about on paragraph number two yesterday? I, I think it was about uh, the caring of the children. All right, and they related to expenses. Do you remember that? That they said, oh, they have to- In the other paragraph, I think. Yeah. In the uh, first one, they talk about the, 
who could take care of the children right. if they was sick or something right. like that. Okay, so Leah, that's right. So the problems that the mothers could face while they are gone and the kids would face, all right? So that would be one. And the second one, yeah, you're right. They talked about, the, on the second paragraph, they talked about the expenses, all right? That they yeah. face when they, got, they have to go to work and they are going to invest either on daycare or the car or the bus or like all the other issues that they talked about. So what, for example, okay, so here we have the topic or the question of your essay on the center and right on the middle, on the other one where it says idea, any of them, all right, you have, ah, they decided to talk about problems kids would face when mothers are gone, for example. And on the other paragraph, because there are only two paragraphs, ah, they are talking about the expenses the mothers would face or the families would face, okay? So now you have two supporting ideas. Supporting ideas because they are supporting the main one. And from there, these... Um, Supporting ideas, you have little ideas, all right? Okay, so ah, uh, from expensive transportation, uh, daycare, all right, car insurance, for example. Uh, another idea, oh. it's getting, excuse me? Uniform. Uniforms, Uniform. yes, all right, so yeah, Uniform. very good. Yeah, very nice. So from the, the, the first idea would be like, who, who's gonna take care of them if they get sick? No, all right, so those little ideas, they, support the supporting ideas you know what i'm saying this is a chain here all right so if you notice there's a lot of information going on and then you need to organize it if you don't organize it well then you might get lost on the process and then you're gonna be stuck with a lot of ideas and you have no idea what to write on one paragraph so that's why if you notice when you let's let's take for the example of uh, the paragraph Two yesterday, they talked about expenses, and the whole paragraph was about it, giving examples of the things that they would spend on. All right, they did not talk about the second paragraph, they did not go back to the problems, they took that as a big problem being so big that they made it a big one paragraph. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nice, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're not gonna do the ones the the we're not gonna do the mind map from the essay yesterday because that's already done for us. All right. So what we're going to do today, I want you to take a picture of this right now. I'm gonna send it to you right away anyway. But take a picture of this here as an example. We have four main. Uh, sorry, we have four supporting ideas. You may even have 10 supporting ideas, but you have to narrow it down, okay? So don't worry about oh, four main ideas, four supporting ideas. Yeah, but you may have only three. You may have five, you may have six, but then when you start like working on your essay, you decide, okay, no, this one is not so big, or you know what? This one relates more to the other one, so I just better combine them. But that, that is very, if you're a visual learner, like I am, I'm very visual. I need to see what I'm writing. So I need to, like, it helps me better when I'm, uh, when I'm writing. So if I say, okay, so one of the idea, let's say the, um, the uh, question is, do you uh, support or not the quarantine, for example? That's my topic, okay? One of the ideas, uh, one of my supporting ideas would be lack of... Um, job, I guess, or the other one would be lack of health. The other supporting idea would be the loss of jobs, all right? The other supporting idea is health in general, right? So now I have four things that I need to write about, okay? So that, that's where I get every time you have a supporting idea, that's one paragraph. See it that way, okay? And then now you have the supporting idea, and from there, you're going to start writing. And then you say, okay, yeah, but if I stay home, I'm not going to get sick. If I don't get sick, then I'm going to be able to go back to work once this is over. So there's a lot of things going on. That's why I'm saying it's a chain. So, and that's why some people call it like a, a, like a spider web, because it's a web that is like, you know, everything intertwines, everything like gets like connected here. Yeah. So. Take a picture of this. I'm going to give you the, uh, we're going to take as the example that we're going to use right now, 
the one that is on the platform, on the video from the platform, so it's not new for you if you already saw it. And what I want you to do, I'm gonna send you to uh, your groups just so you discuss and you get help from each other. Perhaps Freddy, if I'm working with Freddy, Freddy, we will have the same question as the main idea here. The one in the middle is gonna be the same because that's the topic of the essay. But the other four ideas or five ideas probably are gonna be very different from mine. It's okay, but the idea here is to share. Freddy, what do you think? Yeah, no, but for me that's important. Yeah, but for me it's not. Remember that two minds think very differently. It may be the same topic, but you think like, however you think about it, okay? But we can discuss. You think, Freddie? no, I don't think so. That's okay, but I'll decide to write it that way, all right? So that's okay. So take a picture of this. Did you take it already? Yes. All right, very yes. good. And take a picture of this one. This is the question that is on the video of the platform. Take a picture of this and look at this. The question is, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? So watch it. Here you need to say, I agree because this and this and this by the time you write your essay. You're not going to do that right now, okay? But this is what I want you to keep in mind. At the end, you would have to say, I agree or I disagree. About what? Ah, about there is nothing that an, an educated person can teach an educated person. Do you agree with that statement? Yes or no? So what, what are you going to have in the middle of your whole uh, mind map? There is nothing that an educated person can teach an educated person. That goes in the middle. From there, you decide what goes in. I want you to, right now, just because we need to practice, I want you to think about four ideas that we have here, four supporting ideas, okay? So are we ready? Do we understand what we're going to do? I'm going to give you some time, all right? And then we're going to go back here. We're going to come back here. And I'm going to give you two more questions. And I want you to do the same procedure with this mind map, okay? And as you're working, I'm going to go inside each uh, group and I'm going to see how you're working, all right? Okay. Okay, so right now, let's get ready then. So it's pairs because we have six students, so it's good. So uh, you guys can work together without copying. I don't want you to say, okay, I don't agree with what Astrid is saying, but I'll write it anyway. No, it's like we talk about it, Astrid, you think. And I don't know. Then I, I, I can share with Astrid, you know what, Astrid, I think my four ideas are this. And Astrid can say, oh, very interesting, but my four ideas are this. All right, so that's the, that's the idea, all right? Okay. There you go.
a different um, word, for example, electricity, um, what other? Mm. Teacher, could yes. be uh, could be correct this word. Uh, it's not a chef, but it's a, a cooker. <laughs> yeah, you Cine. can say yeah. You can say cook, cooker, or chef. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I know different persons that are cooker, but never receive an mm. education, like uh, a, a formal education. Yeah, a formal education, but in the practice, they get it. This uh, and they cook delicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so okay. this is the same for different uh, works. Maybe not, no, are not uh, professional jobs. Are informal jobs, but they know more mm. than a person that uh, has received. Uh, academic formation yes it's difficult because the the language that the the people can and uh, people study is very different uh, the, when the people know some vocabulary or some things that are very very formal yeah oh well maybe this is the first reason the first idea <laughs> I would have to find another. <laughs> mm. In this case, our first idea is deeply. <laughs> yes, because uh, you know, I don't know is the 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 main idea, but are different. Could be the Paint uh, a statement for for this one that is our, for example, a, our examples. So, in our country, we know that it's very important that everybody has a job. Uh, I think seldom we can know uh, somebody that never in in his life or her life uh, works uh, oh for yeah. for when 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 people go to a new job is necessary that support the, with uh, some document that you can finish some career or some education yeah, that it's certificated you. Yeah. For get a mm. job, it's necessary a certificate. Yeah, it's so important to so. Person, uh huh. What do you say, a través? Throw, I think so. Throw experience. Yes, through experience. Mm hmm through experience, okay, through experience, and, and there are many things that they learned. Empiricamente, how do you say, teacher? Oh my goodness, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> uh, you learn by doing, I don't know, but it has to be a specific word for that. Learning by doing. Learning yeah, they by learn, doing. They learn by doing, yeah. Learn by doing. Learn by doing. In the case that, uh, in the case an um, academic education, And in the case is related to values, moral and value, values, uh, is more difficult that the an educated person teach another that doesn't mm -hmm. have. Okay, it's your idea. Uh huh. It's my idea. Okay. Okay. 
and the other for you? So I think, teacher, so uh, what, what are we supposed to do today? I think we have to find four ideas to uh, four ideas to to final the 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 paragraph about mothers. No, 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 Maribel. We're doing this right now. I'm gonna share my screen with you. You're okay. making a mind map based on this question. Mm -hmm. So this is a different question okay. than yesterday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what you're working on with right now with Nidia is making a mind map. So on the middle, on the bubble of the middle, you're going to write uh, agreement or disagreement with there is nothing or just a question. There is nothing that an, an person can teach an educated person. Do you agree with that or not? That's the whole thing that you need to work around it. Now, this... But, but are you... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But the question is re related with the academic education only or, or, or about values? Or it doesn't say. It doesn't say, Maribel. So that's the tricky part of this question. Are you guys going to relate it with like formal education or just about, let's say, values? All right. That's really up to you because here is not really telling you. All right, mm -hmm. so you can, for example, if I, you know what, when I saw this question, I actually did not think about like the certifications or qualifications or skills that they might have for a job. I'm, I thought more about, more about values and the way they behave in life, but that's my point of view. All right, so maybe my mm -hmm. essay and my, uh, sorry, my uh, mind map would go with, like, for example, one of the uh, um, supporting ideas would be values. The other one would be, I don't know, um, something else. You know what I'm saying? But that would be my mm -hmm. essay, which is okay. okay. If you want to orient or guide your essay, like, on skills for a job and being educated and have received formal education that's your essay and that's okay. Th those can be your supporting ideas. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in my case, I think uh, value education is more than the other because there are some, some people that is uh, be able to, are be able to to do something, uh, for example, uh, to rob corruption. <laughs> so this, uh -huh. yes, yes. And they are very so, educated. <laughs> uh -huh, yes, they are. They are. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. What, what about you, Nidia? What do you think? We uh, have agreed that an educated person can teach something about his life, not about formal education, right. probably. Right, okay. But about values or mm -hmm. life experience. Okay. They can they can teach to the to sure. an educated person. Right, okay. So in that sense, Maribel and of your bubbles of the idea ones or the supporting ideas could be values the other one can be life experiences yeah so you have two so you would have two ideas right mm -hmm. now if you were if you were to write right now which you are not but if you were to write right now one of your paragraphs would be talking about all around values and the values that this uneducated person or people may have that educated people may lack of and they can actually be taught right so that would be like what your paragraph would be about if you actually would write it the other uh, paragraph you would have two paragraphs already the other paragraph would be say would be around the life experiences these uneducated people or like person may have 
that would contribute to an educated person. She lacked of those experiences, right? So there you have, there you would have two uh, paragraphs already going on. Mm -hmm. yeah? Okay, life experiences and and values, values would be like that. Values. That sounds good for me. All right, think of one more just to see what else you girls can come up with. All right, try it. So you're doing good. I'm gonna take one more minute and then we're gonna go back to the main group. I'm gonna give you another question, okay? Okay, think. Mm, okay, okay. Don't eat. Hi, Freddy. Yeah. Hi, Saida. Finish? Hello. Hi. Mm, I think. Yeah, all right. Okay, <laughs> so if I'm gonna share this right now with you, just kind of walk me through it. All right, we're not going to write anything right now. We're going to leave the writing for um, maybe tomorrow or Thursday. If this is your okay. mind map, okay, the main question is on the middle. We already said if there is anything an educated can teach an educated person. You agree or disagree? Now, I want to hear your ideas. Uh, only the idea, Fredo. For example, if you say food, I mean, you're not talking about food or anything here, but your idea is food. That would be your idea number one. Your idea number two is health. Your idea number three, it's money and your idea number four is uh, leisure activities, all right? Just the name of your idea. I don't want you to explain it, all right? Go ahead. Good. Or ladies. <laughs> okay, teacher. The first idea, mm -hmm. uh, different knowledge. Okay. The, the second, second idea is the certificate is and certificated when you apply for a job, a formal okay. job. Okay, so perhaps certification, formal certification would be to make it short, yeah? Okay, Okay. very good. What's the next one? Country reality. Oh, okay. All right. And the last one could be the other kind of education. Like what? Well, uh, not only an academic, for example, mm. uh, uh, we were talking with Nidia. We with, were sorry, talking. with Aida, with Aida, <laughs> uh -huh. with Aida the, uh, the larger person, uh -huh. uh, no, no different uh, um, beliefs. Uh -huh. For example, when you are pregnant, you have to abide different thing, or when the when the woman have your baby you have to put in your earrings cotton or you have to put a, a bandana in <laughs> like a pañuelito in the, <laughs> yeah all right okay. or for example the, the witches that no different um uh, thing uh, for example the message to when you are um i don't know in english uh, uh, when you don't want to eat. Like you're empachado. Because you don't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that All could right. be, a, another one is when in the religion, mm -hmm. it's another way to education. All right, okay. So like different kind of education. Yeah, like more like beliefs. Yeah. Nice. All right, okay, so, all right, okay. Okay, very interesting. Okay, so here, um, it's really interesting because everybody thinks, I mean, everybody has the same question, but everybody thinks, thinks about it differently, which is fine. That's the, that's the idea behind it, right? I mean, it would be boring if everybody would think the same thing. All right, so uh, that's interesting. It's very nice. The idea, was it hard for you to get to those ideas or not really? The question mm. is not so easy. Maybe it's not complicated, but the answer are directly. Are there? Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. We okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to go back right now. Okay. And then I'm going to give you two more questions and we're going to do the same procedure. We're not writing. I, I'm just making you think here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. I'm going to stop sharing and we're going to go back right now. Hi, Robert. 
Hello, good evening. How are you? Perfectly fine. Uh, it, it looks like that, that that I'm still having some issues with the internet connection. Internet, I'm not able yeah. to. Yeah, I'm not able to see some pictures that they have sent me, and as well, I'm not able to to see the PowerPoint presentation that you have already sent as well. Oh my God! All right. Okay. Well, don't worry about it. Maybe you can see it right now. I'm gonna share something else right now, so maybe you can work on that. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, let's see. Julia. So, Julia, you were working with Astrid, right? Yes. All right, so, Julia, um, this, so for Robert and everybody else to see it, this is uh, what I wanted you to come up with based on this question. So, the question again, it said there's nothing that an uneducated person can teach an educated person or disagree. So Julia and Astrid, this being the topic of your essay, tell me the four ideas that you girls came up with. Okay, I, I have two ideas. Okay. One okay. was that people on a on educator uh, can teach to another person through experience. Ah, uh, for so example. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. For example, in in a job, Mm -hmm. uh, I put an example for a supervisor. Yes. Uh, I have some co-workers that they don't have studies mm -hmm. uh, at the university. Right, yes. And they do their work very well. Okay. And there are some of another people that mm -hmm. is new, okay. but they have a academic studies. Yes. And they don't know what. <laughs> or they don't know a lot about the right. work, and then the other person teach teaches. Okay, teaches. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. All right. Okay. So Julia, to narrow it down, your let's say the name of that idea would be experiences. All right. So when you yes. write it, when you would like actually write it, you would talk about that what you just told me, but on paper, right? Talking about experiences, the people that don't have an education can teach to someone that has education and has gone to university and everything, but they lack of experience, right? So your bubble would be experience. Very good, Julia. Another one, can you share with us the other idea the, that, that you got? The other one is uh, that we discussed is related to, to another point. The, the first point is about the academic education. Okay. And the second point is about uh, related to moral and values. Ah, and we okay. think that in with it that the if the educated person or people is related to the moral and values is more difficult. For example, a person that don't have uh, the custom to say good morning, to yeah. say thanks, that era okay. can teach or is more difficult uh, learn to to educated person. All right. Okay, so another bubble, Astrid and Julia, would be values, right? I mean, if you would narrow it down, the name, let's say, like, let, let's call it name of your idea, would be values, right? So you have experiences, values, very good, nice. Let's see, Anidia and uh, Maribel, you girls came up with values too, right? Yes. And what was the other one? Uh, we have experience, values, and formal education. All right. Okay. So you have three ideas going on there, right? Okay. Yes. In, but I believe, uh, Maribel and Nidia, that when you refer to experience, if I'm not mistaken, you took it more to the um, life experience, more than the job experience. Is that right? Yes. All yes. right. Okay. So, and it's okay. If you notice, girls, although Julia and Astrid, Maribel and, um, and Nidia talked about experience, they are talking about two different experiences, life experiences and work experiences. Very different. All right. But still, that's the idea here. Very good. Okay. So we're going to, um, so Robert, what we're doing, I think you just realized we're trying to do a mind map. I'm giving you the question. This question that we just worked with, it's on the video of the platform. The other two are on the platform itself that you have to write on for the, like, to practice, okay? So I'm going to share that right now. 
Okay, so this is what we have. Let me just okay. get it here. Give me one quick second because I just lost it. No, it's here. Okay. So here we have, this is from the platform. From the platform, I think it is exercise four point something. Let's see. It's, yeah, it's on the fourth section. So it's there, independent writing question two. This is actually on the platform. This is gonna help you guys when you actually write it. So the question one is, the best teacher is one who is very knowledgeable about the subject matter, all right? And it says, use specific reasons and examples to support your idea. So in this way, do you agree or disagree? Right now, you're not telling me if you agree or not. What you're hmm. doing is the mind map, okay? Based on this question. As this is the this is the what goes in the middle all right on the bubble of the middle the best teacher is one who is very knowledgeable about the subject matter this is question one so i want you to come up with four ideas all right with your partners and question two compare and contrast your way of life with that of your parents which way of life do you think would be more satisfying to future generations yours or theirs yeah did you, um, can you please take a picture? I know this is in the platform, but we're not gonna go to the platform right now. I just wanna work with the mind map because that's gonna help you to actually write your essays because you have to because they're on the platform. Take a picture? Yeah? Yes. All right, perfect. Yeah. And this one too? Yes. Excellent, okay. So go back to your groups, work on it the same way. The ones, the questions are on the middle and think of four, four ideas, all right? Four main ideas. Try to think it as, as a name, because right? like for example, values, food, uh, money, health. I don't know, I'm just saying like whatever, right? But what I want you to do is just names of it. So when you're actually ready to write, then you say, ah, see, I was gonna talk about values, all right? So I was gonna talk about food. I was gonna talk about university. All right, so that's the idea here. So we're gonna go back to okay. our, for like the last uh, nine minutes or so. All right, so there you go, guys. Again, you don't have to agree with what your partner says. Okay.
another one that have to be important in a good teacher is that uh, we have to know that everybody have different ways to learn something so yes. it's, it's not the same for everybody maybe uh, uh, there are persons that quickly get it and another that it's a little more uh, low uh, slow Yeah, or there, or had more passion, or or no different different ways to 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 teach a different. Yes. People. Yes, that could be another. So, like different methodologies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. This is the correct words that we are looking. <laughs> That's right, yeah. But I get it, so that's good. <laughs> well, we finished with the first question. Excellent, okay. Peter, uh, uh, do you want to listen to Of that? course, yes. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> the first one is to apply it in daily mm -hmm. life. Okay. The second one, uh, able to practice it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And say that the third. Okay. The uh, different method methodology. Methodology. Um, the four methodology. Yeah. And the four is able to answer the the questions. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Interesting. Good. Okay. Very nice. All right. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> You may begin the other one, but I think it's almost time to go. But I need to go check the other groups quickly, so you may take advantage of like one minute. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How, how do you say pedagogy? Pedagogy. Pedagogy. Okay. Yeah. Pedagogy. Okay. Okay. We have. Four. <laughs> ah, listen, I want to listen. Aha, uh -huh. tell me. Okay, in my case, I think uh, the best teacher is 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 one. The, the, the question was the best mm -hmm. teacher is one who's very knowledge knowledgeable about mm -hmm. the subject matter. Right. I uh, I don't agree. I don't agree with that mm -hmm. because okay. uh, because a best teacher is. Uh, is when 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 teacher knowledge about the subject mm, very 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 much mm -hmm. about the subject uh, they have the the teacher has to be experienced okay uh, the teacher ha has to has to be pedagogy because to have pedagogy. Uh, mm -hmm. I, if i can if I can, I can explain an idea. And for example, a teacher who who is talking about math, math, mathematics. Yes. So, so sometimes they are bored. They are boring. <laughs> yeah. So they can they can explain the okay. the 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 I can say the the exercise the or the okay the, procedure, the procedures. Yes. yes. The procedure so so uh, class classmates class, students can understand so pedagogy experience skills and oh, knowledge excellent oh. very good so those are your four bubbles right pedagogy okay. skills experience very good all right Nidia you have the same yes okay nice very nice all right this is going to help you girls for your essays that you have to write anyway, because if you notice, they are like taken from the platform, which you have to write two of them. All right. Or at least one. The idea is for you to practice. Very good. Well done. Thank you. We're about to go. I just need to go check the other group quickly. OK. OK. Thank you. Thank you. I think. Hi, Robert, Saida and I mean Saida, Astrid and Julia, I'm sorry. Did, were you Hello. able to finish the first one about the teacher? 
Yes. Okay. Can you tell me your four, if like your four ideas? Okay. For the first first mm -hmm. one, uh, yeah. we think that the best teacher is someone who has to to do a balance in the knowledge mm -hmm. and the okay. creativity. Okay. And is someone who who has who want to learn who want to 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 throw their knowledge about uh, a dynamic way maybe okay okay okay. Mm -hmm. okay very good anything else and the other one uh, the best teacher is someone that uh, have the willingness to teach. Ah, excellent. Yes. Okay. And, uh, if so, see if a teacher have a lot knowledge, but mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. don't share right their knowledge. Their uh, knowledge. Okay. Is it's not good. Okay. All right. Because Very good. Only, only he is with that knowledge. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe, yeah, sometimes they need to know how to share that knowledge. All right, yes. yeah, all right, okay, interesting. All right, very good. We need to go because I have the other class actually like, so I'm gonna, we're gonna go back and I'm gonna tell you what we're doing tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, guys, uh, it's time to go. Uh, it, was very, it was very nice. I went through all of the groups listening to your ideas and everything. So that's the way. I think if you keep it that way, if you keep it organized that way, it's going to be easier for you to actually write your essay, okay? When you get, I mean, these two last questions, they are from the platform, okay? So they are, I mean, those are the essays that you have to write about, okay? But at least if you write one and you send it to me, that's going to be perfect. The idea is for you to like have the um, opportunity and the chance to actually be able to write an essay. Okay. Again, this essay is not graded on the platform. I do the evaluation. Okay. So I'm going to be sending everything to you by the weekend. Everything's going to be for you, with you. All right. But not add it on the platform because it can be. All right, because it's not, I mean, nobody listens to you on the platform. There's not a robot listening to you. Okay, so I do the evaluation that way, but you have to do it because I send a report to the academy saying, okay, Freddie finished and Freddie sent me his response and he, he sent me his essay, all right? And this is my evaluation report, okay? So I do send that to them, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Tomorrow, again, we'll keep on talking about this uh, question. And tomorrow we're going to do the intro. All right, so yeah, we're gonna do the intro, but one of these essays, we're gonna choose between the first one or the second one is really up to you. So in case you did not finish your mind map of the second question from the platform, that's gonna be your homework, only the mind map. Don't cheat on me doing the intro today. All right, okay. we'll do that tomorrow. All right, thank you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.